Hello, my name is Elias and welcome back for daily Formula news. Mercedes made poor performance in the Dutch Grand Prix with the team left with a shortage of data to affirm setup decision in Zandvoort. However, the team under the most challenging weekend for some months is Zandvoort with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton finishing 7 and A position. Fourth one to, to confirm that the W15 that did not resume the car that brought so much success to Mercedes prior to the summer break. Sharing his supposition that a major factor was behind the teams and their performance in Zandvoort. He said we have six races with the podium in a row that doesn't look like the car three weeks ago. You can't really end up with a result like this when any major factor playing. And that's something we need to analyze in the next few days until Monza. What is because we put something on the car that didn't help? Did we engineer something into the car that wasn't good? From there, Hamilton managed to work his way through the field and he's eventually crossed the line in the 8th position, pushed further on whether the visit to Zandvoort had been off weekend for the silver arrows given the strong run across races. Hamilton explained, it was partly me, partly the car, the car really didn't feel strong as the last race. We need to look into the weather, our upgrade is delivering or not, we had to wait and see. Mercedes were marked running close to rebuild on the first day of running its head for the W15 towards very competitive in Friday practice. Both in low and high fuel simulation, however, Mercedes found themselves way off the pace on Sunday, leaving George Russell missed feet after taking victory in Silverstone and Belgium. Mercedes were confident of keeping McLaren and the Red Bull honest in Zandvoort. However, this was not the case, not only were McLaren in different league, but Ferrari managed to a look more pace from their SF24 machines. Russell explained this, I don't really know what happened. Russell admit post rate we've been hit in Ferrari, all of them. And suddenly today, they looked really competitive. We need to understand what happened. And until today, we looked on course of a pretty half distant weekend. As I said, it all went away from us, and I don't know what happened. Don't miss subscribe and share your reaction for Mercedes W15 upgrades in Manza.